Hello folks, welcome back to the Keep Productive News. It is Francesco here. Today, we are talking about some of the latest updates from the Slack Frontiers event 2020. This is a pretty routine event. They happen every single year. It normally happens in two locations, San Francisco and sometimes like somewhere in Europe, like London. Very lucky to go last year. It's quite a good event, but this year, actually, it's virtual. So naturally, at Slack Frontiers, they tend to release a few updates. And this year, they've released, I guess, two or three major updates to the experience on Slack as people get more invested in remote work. So what I want to do today is go over some of the specifics and share a little bit more about what that exactly looks like. First update is something called Video Stories. Now, if you know about stories, you've probably got an application like Snapchat or Instagram where you can upload a video story and essentially people watch it and uh, it's more of a social media thing. Slack are bringing in or prototyping this feature at the moment with an aim to bring it in in the future. Now, initially when I saw it, I thought this is a little bit weird because it's such a social media type of thing. I'm really not sure if we're going to end up uh, with an actual script when we get in front of the cameras or if he's just going to say what he wants to say uh, per usual, but I'm sure it will be great. But when they demoed it, it didn't look too weird. It looked much more natural than what I thought it would look like. Assuming that this will become available later in 2020, it would be available near the status bar, allowing you to see updates from specific team members. Now, naturally, I think what they're trying to do is make the human connection here a lot better than they have before, allowing you to have a little bit of real-time connection with somebody, or at least real connection across the day. So the second feature they plan to release is audio base. So it's an anytime audio feature that will allow you, if you're inside a channel, to be able to activate it and then once you activate it you can basically pop in and sort of like a bit like how discord works you can pop in and message or speak aloud and naturally people can reply to you i guess it's almost like or what they're stating sort of like when you pop your head around an office now naturally that can be distracting for a lot of people but if you want to say get a small thing solved it could be a useful way uh, to be able to interact with someone instead of having a full-blown meeting so the third major update, although they had a lot of sort of integration updates, is the Slack Connect abilities. So for those who don't know, Slack Connect is basically a new networking system where Slack companies can message other Slack companies um, to basically save a bit of time. Um, you know, for example, it would almost sort of replace email when you're going about external communication. So essentially what they want to do is have organization set up so they have DMs. So for example, um, you message somebody uh, from another company and you can just be inside of their direct messages. It's sort of like email to some extent, but sort of like keeping it contained inside of Slack instead of necessarily having uh, an additional inbox. Now for some people, I could probably see this being a bit of a pain because it's like adding to multiple inboxes but then if you're like slack central like you and everyone around you use a slack i guess it's containing it inside of that ecosystem it sort of feels like they've got a lot of inspiration from social media on this update but slack frontiers is will be available after to view um, and naturally they had a lot of great speakers this year um, i will be getting the time to jump in to slack frontiers 2020 just to sort of see what other stuff they released so folks, hopefully you enjoyed these latest Slack updates. Let me know what you think of it. Do you think video stories is a weird concept? Um, a lot of people I know will probably be thinking strange. Let me know in the comments below. I'd really love to hear because um, I'm like on the brink of thinking it's weird, but also on the brink of thinking it could be quite cool uh, to update your fellow colleagues. Anyway, folks, thank you very much. Please do make sure to subscribe to the podcast and like this video if you enjoyed it. And uh, I'll talk to you all very soon. Cheerio.